going on Cubs fam? We are back for another Disney Sorcerer's Arena video and my friends I'm super stoked today to be premiering a brand new weekly show that I am doing with Cozy Gamer called DSA Fast Pass. Your fast pass to everything you need to know ladies and gentlemen in DSA today. And here he is Cozy Gamer. We have got six subjects. Three on my channel, three on his. And we are going to get this thing kicked off. You excited, Cozy? Hey, hey, I am excited. And my gosh, it is a beautiful day for some DSA. Am I right, Cubs? That's, did you, you've been working on that phrase all day, haven't you? I have, I like, have. How can, how can I create a cheesy rhyme for the beginning of the show? <laughs> is that, do you start every video like that now? I'm starting to, yeah. <laughs> It's a beautiful day for some DSA. All right, here we go. We got a meme of the week. We're going to get this started off every week on my channel with a meme of the week. You may be familiar with that format if you follow my Galaxy of Heroes content in Rogue Action. So check this out. I think that you're going to appreciate this one, uh, Cozy. So this is trying to build a decent free-to-play team right now in the game. And so you got this fish going up to Squidward to order his uh, crusty crab. And he says, I'll have a uh, Jack Sparrow. A uh, big bad wolf with Sean Yu as a leader. How original. And uh, more do as a tank. Daring today, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> That's so gold. Oh, man. So gold. Then, I feel like this, uh, there's a little more variety now for free to play players. Uh, when I was looking for this meme, I, I had to share it because I thought it was really funny. It was 24 days ago that this was shared. And so I feel like nowadays there's there's a little bit more variety, isn't there? Yeah, a little bit. Definitely more than there was 24 days ago, that's for sure. More than there was 24 days ago, yeah. So you've got like Ana, for example. You can plug Ana into a kingdom team right now with that Sean Yu lead. But I think pretty much if you're a free-to-play player, you, you're farming Sean Yu as your leader almost inevitably, right? Well, now that they buffed the Aladdin team too, it's like, mm. okay, you're definitely going to go the Sean Yu route because you get Aladdin to start. I think if you join the game, the Aladdin event's the first one you're going to see. So no matter what, you're going to kind of go in that direction. You should at least. Interesting. Yeah, that, you know what? That might be a good discussion subject as we lean into this Aladdin team a little bit more. Uh, the update's still really fresh as we're recording this, but uh, what is the best free-to-play team? Is it still Kingdom? Or is Aladdin uh, making a push for that? Uh, so, all right, we got to talk about underrated heroes in Disney Sorcerer's Arena next. Um, Cozy Gamer, we both picked two characters to be our underrated heroes of the game. Who do you got? Well, speaking of Aladdin, my friends, I picked for my first hero, it's going to be Genie. And Cubs, Ooh. I tell you, Genie is going to be skyrocketing with his mm. this new buff that's come to him. You know, the Aladdin characters, they were already pretty good to start, right? Uh -huh. And then you had the spell nerf happen. And now Genie just got another buff to his duplicate and some of his other abilities, mainly his basic. And this guy, my friends, his basic is insane. It's going to be doing some amazing damage. I've seen him uh, take out a more do. T7, half health, done. With Shut some up. basic and some shadows. This is blasphemy. Yeah, he's, he's got more damage on his basic, and he's calling other genies to assist now. And so as he as he brings in that additional support, it's just going to be a, a all-out charge. And so, man, that's sweet. I didn't know that he was taking out a tier 7 more do. What the freak? Yeah, he's nuts now. And then on top of that, it's like he does the silence. He can transfer buffs. And then he saves an ally once they die, and they have invincible cubs on them until that is removed. All right, let me talk about one. So Genie's a good choice, I think. How about Scrooge? This is a character that almost nobody is using, but as a plug and play character, let's talk about Scrooge's passive ability. In this, in the current climate of this game, especially with very buff heavy teams, on any opponent gaining a helpful effect, 15% chance, that'll scale up to 20%. 20% chance to perform the following. Deal up to 131 damage to opponent. Purge all helpful effects. Apply a copy of each effect removed by purge to this character with their durations refreshed. How is nobody using this ability? That is OP as heck, man. I know Scrooge is like this hidden gem that people don't realize. I feel like him and like Darkwing and some of the other ones are just not very noticed. Maybe it's because the franchise they're from. I'm not sure, but... 
Talk about having a stack of buffs above Scrooge <laughs> McDuck. He's going to have them all. He's going to have them all, and he hits crazy damage. And 20% might, might not sound like that much, but you got to consider how often in the battle characters are gaining buffs or uh, helpful effects on the other team. I mean, it's almost every turn in a lot of these uh, teams that people are running, and so you're going to see that pretty often. So who's your who's your next one? So from another franchise that's not popular, right? Or at least not a character that's going to be jumping off the charts to get. And he's hard to get in this game, but Steamboat Mickey Cups. Ooh. Have you have you seen it? So w when doing my tier list, um, this was one of those characters that I was just like, uh, I've literally never seen this guy. Like, I know nothing about him other than, you know, some people that I've talked to that have told me a little bit enough that I could kind of put him on the tier list in a somewhat educated way but tell me why you think he's underrated i'm intrigued so first of all again buffs debuffs are changed so buffs are going to be on the field more he's one of the other heroes that can purge and take buffs and on top of that he's got a silence he's got a taunt he does great damage and then he can also give those buffs to your teammates so just a solid character all around so it does a lot of what scrooge would do uh, and he is uh let's see he's downtown and so you can get some you can get some use for him probably in uh, in tower, which might be very useful. There's some areas of tower that you need uh, downtown characters. Okay, all right. My last one um, is Sally. Sally is one of those characters that with the really really benefited. I'm I'm looking for here. I, I don't have her unlocked. Um, really benefited from the spell nerf because we had Dumbo who was on AOE applying that blind. Dumbo now only does that to one single character, uh, but this fog juice here, Sally will apply blind to all opponents for one turn. Not quite as OP as a leveled up Dumbo was, but she's a little mini Dumbo, old school Dumbo uh, in the flesh right now. We put her in A tier for our uh, tiered list, didn't we? You know, she deserves to be there too. She's this hidden gem as well. And yeah. in fact, I'm doing a farming guide coming up and she's at the top of my list. She she helps you through tower. She's got a mythical tag, which is gonna help you, you know, through tower five. And then being able to sleep and blind everyone comes, my gosh, she's fun. Yeah, sleep and blind. The freaking mythical tag too. That's one of those, that tag is becoming a really hot commodity nowadays. There's just, there's so many places that you need mythical characters, especially if you're gonna do the last tower, um, which I'm struggling through. And so, uh, yeah, she might be one that, that I need to farm and uh, currently she is free to play accessible once you get through the villains campaign far enough and uh, through the uh, th this one you're it's probably gonna take you a bit to get through but 3c is is pretty early in the game yeah. you guys you guys can get there and at least get her unlocked uh, only 50 shards to unlock so um, anything else you wanted to say about uh, Sally or these other characters you know, it's like, just do your research and look at what these characters have in their kits because there's some hidden gems in this game. You know, you get the Sean Yu's and the Mordu that have all the attention, but look for the hidden gems in this game. Let's do it. All right. Finally, our last subject of our first ever Disney Sorcerer's Arena Fast Pass episode. We have got grading glue so far. This is going to be fun. So I just, <laughs> I want to get your take on this. But I, as a... Dedicated Galaxy of Heroes player and YouTuber for several, several years. I have been noticing a lot of... Uh, I, I've been paying close attention to how Glue is handling this because, because the devs make a big difference in the game, the community engagement, and a lot of other things. And so, Cozy, I'm going to put you on the hot seat first. How would you grade Glue so far, um, just in general? You know what? People forget this is a brand new game. I think people keep forgetting that they're doing, I think they're doing well for having a brand new game. I think if you were to break it into categories, right? Like character content, A plus. Yep. Handling nerfs, meh, B maybe. I, I think they've done an okay job there. Keeping the community happy, I think they're about a B. And free to play to play to play, I think they're an A. In fact, I love how much free to play content that there is out there in this game. Yeah, I think that's a really good call out. And I, I think a lot of people are focusing a little too heavily when they when they gauge, you know, free to play versus pay to play. All right, we brought out these new characters. Those are way too pay to play. I can't I can't do that. This game is not free to play friendly. But what you have to consider is not the new characters only that they're bringing out. But what are the strong characters in the game that you have access to as a free to play player? And right now, one of the best teams in the game is very accessible to you. 
uh, as a free-to-play player. Not to mention that they brought in four characters who were all brand new, instantly free to play in the four Frozen crew characters other than Elsa, who of course is, I would classify, pay to play, assuming you didn't have just a ton of tap joy gems hanging around uh, to get those characters up fast. And so I, I would give them an A on free to play, pay to play balance right now myself. Um, on nerfs, I think you you get you made a good point that they get probably a B on nerfs because there's been a little bit of a and if we're gonna get into how everything happened with blue fairy magic, I think we might we might go closer to C or D on uh, how that whole situation was handled. But one thing I will give them a good grade on is the fact that they are anxiously um, aware of what balances need to happen, even if they don't hit the mark, which I think. We can cut them some slack for not in the mark here and there. They're going to need to learn to hit the mark a little faster, I think. Uh, but the the concern that they have for balancing the game and doing so on a regular basis, in my humble opinion, is very positive. Yeah, they're doing a great job at making the health of the game important, right? That the longevity important, and they 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 focus on the right areas. It's just how they focus and. Fix those the right way is what they need to tweak just a little bit cubs it's it's more important to focus on the long-term health of the game than the you know the next day of of rage that might ensue because of that and one thing that i will admit that i find refreshing as well is a lot of these changes they're making like it, comparing this to another game that i may or may not cover <laughs> where the the buffs and debuff or the buffs and nerfs in the game seem to be all centered around whatever the newest team is any Absolutely. change that happens is just because of this team isn't functioning the way it should or something's beating this team that we don't think should beat it or there's not intended interactions, etc. In Disney Sorcerer's Arena, like the Aladdin buff that we just got is a great example. It was just mm -hmm. because it was just we think this team should be better. We're going to give it a pass and it's a free to play team except for Jafar. I think it's great. Right, it's like, how long have we been waiting for the Mace Windu buff, right? Forever, since beta, right? And so it takes so yeah. long for them to get that out. And for them to just pop out Aladdin, that was a nice surprise. They're already a pretty good team, and then they just made them better. It, yeah, and what, nobody expected it, right? Nobody was even, I don't think anybody was really even calling for that. And so it was just <laughs> a nice thank you, you know, surprise that I'm, I'm pretty pleased with. Now, not to get too negative, but uh, what, you mentioned that character content has been good. How about all other content? Mm, not so good. It gets an A plus for character content. Other content, eh, we'll give it a C because it's new, but they have got nothing new content wise, which we'll talk about here in a bit. New content wise in the game. Yeah, and we, we're going to discuss that in your video. It's kind of backwards. We should have normally we would probably record your video first. And so we haven't talked about it yet for us, but for you guys, that's the first video. This is the second one. Uh, that's right. But. Yeah, I think it's important to call out. I think C is probably a fair grade on that because it is a new game. We can't just expect the first two months of this game to have multiple new game modes. However, we have been spammed with a lot of new characters, a whole Toy Story team, a whole Onward team, a whole um, a, le or a whole um, a Frozen team, a whole Incredibles, Incredibles team. Yep. We're, we've got so many teams that have come to this game, and now it's time to give us new ways to use these characters. And I, th I think that's going to be pretty important pretty soon. Very important for the health of the game and, and yeah. be able to use these characters. We're excited to use them, so let's use them, you know, in a new piece of content. So overall grade, Cozy, overall, and considering everything, you have to give it a letter grade. No no justification, just a letter grade. We'll both do it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give them full, and I think you might think this is high. I think they're doing a B plus. I think a B plus is a fair place to put them overall. B plus overall? I'm gonna yeah, give I'm them, thinking that's I'm, I'm going to give them a B plus as well. I'm leaning towards B, but let me tell you what tilts me over mm -hmm. the edge right now. It's the communication. It's, the, it's yeah. the dev communication, the effort they put into communicating with this community, in particular the content creators, which a lot of you guys, you don't care if the devs are talking to us, but that's something that's so important to me uh, to cover a game. And I think Blue is absolutely nailing that. And I'm really pleased that they're so concerned about it. Just It just makes me real happy. So, all right, Cozy, thank you so much for joining me on this video. We'll be back next Friday and be sure to check out the first half of this video. There is a link down below to Cozy's half of the video. Thanks again for joining me for the video, my friends. And as always, my brothers, don't forget,